Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Lissy, and today guys, we're gonna be talking about scary cursed toys caught moving on camera, caught in 4K. Have you guys ever had a weird toy growing up that kind of freaked you out? Well, I know I did. I used to have some Furbies, and honestly, they would start talking in the middle of the night, and that was kind of scary. A lot of people claim that they've had some scary encounters with their toys, and some people have been lucky enough to even capture these moments on camera. The we have today, guys, is spicy. Also guys, if you guys have not hit the subscribe button and turn that bell notification on so you never miss a video and comment down below if you guys have ever had a scary toy let's get into it let's check this out ghost or possessed toy how I many don't of know. you played with toys when you were younger we bet most of you have you ever played a with lot a toy of us and then had to leave the room in a hurry only to find that when you came back the toy was in a different position Actually, I have had this happen before, even with like Littlest Pet Shop, which is kind of weird because like you would never expect a Littlest Pet Shop to be cursed. They were so cute. You probably thought that you were going crazy, but this video proves that you might not have been as far off. No, nah, I've never thought. been crazy. <laughs> totally not. Films starts out pretty normal. It shows a toy soldier resting on a car, probably left there by the kid who owns both toys. But soon, the toy soldier starts moving no on way. his own. But then he stops just as quickly as he started. <gasps> making That's like wonder. Toy Story in real life right there. Honestly though, like Toy Story in real life, what if they were just possessed? No, I'm just kidding, just kidding, totally not. Even saw what we thought we did. Then the toy starts to move again until it moves completely now that would off freak the me truck out. and onto the ground. And that's then creepy. Out of the frame. No, Insane, right? But that's not everything. Even the truck starts moving. The video suggests what? that it was a ghost that was moving everything around. That but has to be some idea. sort of ghost. Maybe the toys are possessed. Some totally. people believe that the guy filming was using a remote control to move the car, which you could know be what? true. But that could how be can true. Anyone explain the soldier moving? What Elf do you guys think? Shelf. Everyone knows <gasps> Elf on a Shelf. Elf on a Shelf scares me. I remember last year I talked about that little Elf on a Shelf. And honestly, I've just always gotten a bad vibe from those things. It's just something about the way they look. Like, I personally would not want to hang an Elf on the Shelf on my shelf. It's just kind of ugly. Look at it. I mean, even the face is not trustworthy. He's a little Christmas elf dressed in Santa clothing. If you ask us, we've always thought those little elves on shelves were a little creepy. I agree. But now we've got proof to back us up. It all went down in the Northern Life newsroom in 2013. No in the video posted by Sudbury.com, you can see the elf sitting on someone's desk. The office is completely empty as everyone must have left for the night. Then the elf's eyes start moving. Now this isn't really <laughs> Did you guys see the eyes of the elf? Please, he just goes, he just glares. Yeah, that's, that's some real spicy tea, y'all. Like that elf, <laughs> totally just moved. Yeah, for sure. Special effects and animation. Yeah. What is really weird is what happens after the elf so starts to weird. move around the desk. He then goes to turn on the Christmas lights on the Christmas what? tree on the desk. After that, he looks into the camera. We couldn't help but feel a little chill. Oh yeah, he he's possessed. Through the Definitely, y'all. He run all around the office. <laughs> that His little legs around, is running. This should stop all of those doubts. This elf is clearly alive. That elf did be getting off the shelf. I'm just saying. Woody's alive. Woody. If you've ever seen any of the Toy Story movies? I love Toy Story. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but my heart is big for Toy Story. I absolutely loved all the Toy Story movies, so I don't know how anything Toy Story could be scary. Toys are more than they seem. In the film, they have whole lives outside of what I mean, I was mentioning that earlier, well, actually, coincidentally. Leo Kim video may show that Toy Story was a true story. In the video, what? a dad and his son are at the toy store looking at a Woody doll. The dad Aww. says that he and his son have just seen Woody move. He no then way. zooms in on the doll, and you can see that the doll is no longer in the correct place in the what? box. He's actually slouched down on the bottom side of the box, as if he tried to escape, and then he had to stop because people came up and started watching. No way! Imagine if there really was like a Toy Story in real life moment, and out of all dolls in the store, why did it have to be Woody? Huh, that is a little bit suspicious, but it did look like he was trying to make a break for it out of his box. You wonder what would have happened if this dad and son hadn't walked up. Would the Woody doll have actually made a run for it? In a yeah, suit? he would have had a snake in his boot. He would have ran for it. <laughs> what would the toy store think happened? They would probably just assume that they were sent an empty box and no one would Definitely. ever realize the toys were alive and Woody actually escaped. Imagine if Woody doll just running down the toy aisle, just 
casually. Yeah, no, that would be scary, actually. This next video is proof that you should never mistreat your toys. Nope. Why? Because they may be alive. The Definitely alive. <gasps> you know what? I actually just remembered a moment where I had this one neighbor growing up, and one day she was like, my mom tells me my teddy bear is actually alive. And I was like, my mom said my teddy bear ain't alive. And then she went and cried, and her mom got so mad that I told her her toy wasn't alive that she came to my house and told on me to my mom. That was a really strange time. Anyways, continuing on. Goals. Starts out with a girl saying how mean she and her friend had been to a doll that they found in her spare bedroom. They threw oh my it gosh. down the stairs, held it under water, and other horrible things. Okay, but like, haven't we all had a toy that we just kind of like randomly decided to just like destroy and throw around? I remember I did that to Barbies. I would cut their hair and throw them in like the pond and use them as fish bait. I mean, I just didn't like them. And then the doll randomly started laughing. So no! They threw it down the stairs out of fear. Once they picked it up again, they started thinking that maybe the doll was just laughing because it was on. So then they turned the doll around to see if it was on. And once they opened her battery pack, they saw that the doll was never on. That's creepy. Noises, but it never stopped moving. It kept moving its eyes and mouth the whole time. The video oh, was heck pretty no. scary to watch just as someone viewing from home. We can't imagine what it must have been like for those kids. We wouldn't That'd be, be so scary. That doll in the house they should throw it out as quickly as possible. No, 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 they shouldn't just throw it away. They should burn it because that thing is probably possessed. So um, it's gonna be more than just throwing it in the trash. Moving eyes. Moving if you're eyes. About getting an elf on the shelf. Oh just no, not the elf again. It. There's absolutely no reason to put such a thing in your home. Yeah, if they're you ugly. Need of a little extra holiday cheer, then simply go find some Christmas lights. But do not get an elf on a shelf. Wait, what is that? Is that a moving elf on the actual shelf? That'd be a big elf on the shelf. Also, I want to point out, elf on the shelves are expensive. I saw them the other day in Target, and um, they even had elf on the shelf cereal this year. I don't think anybody wants to eat it, but um, you never know. Do not get one. Don't this do is it! The second video we've seen about elves on shelves coming to life. The elves video are dangerous. Arnaldo Lopez may actually be scarier than the last elf on a shelf. Video. No way. So the Lopez family ordered an elf on the shelf and then it came to their house on December 1st, which is plenty of time to display it before Christmas. Perfect time but for the seven season. Seven days before Christmas, everything changed. In the video, you just see the elf, who's apparently named Carol, sitting on Carol? a table. Carol? At first, it seems like nothing is wrong, but all of a sudden, Carol moves her eyes. The person no. the camera, then screams and starts running away. Can you imagine if you were just looking at a doll and all of a sudden it moved its eyes? And what is that? <sighs> I just, I can't with this one, all right? I know Elf on the Shelves are actually scary, but come on. Y'all could do better than that. That was not enough for me, but I have seen actually scary Elf on a Shelf videos, and let me know if y'all want to see even scarier ones. ...is that it hadn't moved its eyes the whole time it was there. It waited until it had been there for a while before it decided to show its true colors. Creepy. So spooky. We all played with Barbie dolls when we were younger. No, 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 not all of us played with Barbie dolls. Some of us just gave Barbie a makeover and threw her in the trash because not all of us actually liked Barbies, okay? I was a Littles Pet Shop and a Webkins kind of person. That is pretty normal. But what is it with people who insist on having doll collections? Okay, I do want to say doll collections are a little bit scary. Imagine you wake up with a shelf full of those things. Yeah, I'd rather not. I do feel like they would be more prone to be haunted or cursed. You know, just look at them. There's so many of them. And it's usually not normal dolls either. Uh-uh, they're old ones. It's creepy collector's dolls. They're yep. usually made out of porcelain and look like something straight out of a scary movie. Ugh, I hate the porcelain kind. They're so, so spooky. Anyway, in this clip posted by Unexplained Mysteries, you can see someone videotaping their doll collection. Just the video of them showing off their dolls is creepy enough. Those are enough. some really the scary dolls. dolls. Look like they are just waiting to commit some type of crime. Halfway through the clip, you can see one of the dolls move. I you saw that. The whole clip. Did you guys see that? Like one of the arms like went between the other dolls. That is horrifying. One time I did go to this one haunted museum before and it was a room full. Like I was surrounded with actual haunted dolls and they were all cursed. And and I swear, I saw one of them just like kind of twitch their arm and I bolted out of there. I was like, nope, not today, not today. Don't 
by dolls. Don't do it! Now, there's another creepy doll. The owner had said they had heard the doll that moving is one on its scary own. scary doll. So they decided to set it up in front of a camera. When the owner walked away, the doll slowly started moving. First, what? it started moving its arm out and then back in. Once it was done doing that, it decided to turn and look at the camera. No! It's Did you guys see that slow head turn? Oh my gosh, okay, yeah. Genuinely, if I actually ever saw something like that happen with a toy or a doll that I had, I would get rid of it instantly. Like, I would not even mess around with that. That would be so, so cursed. And I remember I did have one haunted doll that I got before from an antique store. It fell off of my shelf in the middle of the night. So um, I got rid of it, you know? It's no more Rose, no more haunted doll for me. <laughs> Toy Story is real. It is? Obviously, we can't talk about dolls coming to life without talking about Toy Story. We've Toy Story it started once, it all. This time, it's the whole Toy Story gang that's coming to life and freaking us out. Really? So in this clip, posted by Viral Top Fifth, the whole Toy Story gang is laying on the ground. Who knows no why way. anyone would want to buy all the Toy Story characters, considering their affinity for coming alive. Okay, but I would want the whole Toy Story character collection, all right? But come on, there's no way they can actually come to life. They're just toys. Anyway, the owner of the toys leaves the room, and almost as soon as they do, Woody starts moving. He what? Moves first, and then he stands up before. No back way. Down. Okay, that would actually scare me so much. If I did have the whole Toy Story collection, all of a sudden Woody just like arises from the ground. No more Woody for me. We get rid of him after that. Maybe why was it Woody just Woody? It's up to check and make sure the coast is clear. Maybe that's, that's so why scary. He just got up and then laid back down. Van getaway. While we're on the topic of Toy Story toys, we have got to show you this video. In this clip by Viral Top Fifth, we see Woody hanging from the back of a van. It's Woody Above hanging from a car! What is with my man, Woody? He be on the wild, he be on the whole mission. That's what I'm seeing from this video. It's the elf on the shelf and the Woody dolls. They're on a whole possessed toy mission for some reason. But what's even weirder is that he's swinging his legs as if he- But that does look like somebody has him just placed there as a joke because you know in the real Toy Story movie Woody was hanging from the back of the car in a scene so whoever did that if they did that for that reason they are iconic I stand that is so funny trying to get on the van is that not <laughs> the creepiest thing that you have ever seen which leads us to Spooky. a bigger question are the toys that are waking up friendly or are they're they totally all friendly I will be their friend if the second option is true then the family that's in that van should be very very afraid they should be so scared of Woody Beanie Boo. Beanie Boo? Our favorite stuffed animals. I used to we collect Beanie Boos. And help us sleep at night. Well, that's what they usually do. But in this particular video posted oh, by Tabby's so Universe, cute. this Beanie Boo did the complete opposite. There's the no way. It starts with the person recording saying that she doesn't know what to do. Really? She says that the night before, she and a man named Tom were woken up by a loud noise. It sounded like something had fallen in the other room. She told Tom to get up and go see what it was. He it's did. her Beanie and Boo. Back, <laughs> Imagine her Beanie Boo is just on their bed, just with a knife, just like, yo, boo, surprise. Honestly, even if they wanted to be scary, have you guys seen Beanie Boos? Even if they wanted to be scary, even if there was a Beanie Boo levitating in the air, I still would not be afraid, okay? I just want to say they're way too cute for this. Really frightened. He said that their Beanie Boo was in the middle of the other room. Since that wasn't Whoa. where they had left it, they were both shocked at this discovery. So they decided <laughs> to go back to sleep, but to leave Tom's camera on and record Oh, so they recorded the it. They didn't move positions for the rest of the night, but what it did do was much worse. What it do? It waved at the camera. Isn't that what? just insane? It's like he knew that they Okay, were but that's actually kind of cute. Imagine your Beanie Boo is just like, yo, what's up, little friend? Like, that's, that's adorable, right? If my Beanie Boo waved at me, I wouldn't even be scared. I wanted to make sure that everyone knew that he knew. It's like he didn't care at all. He, he just didn't care. He was living his best alive. life. Living life like Larry. Honestly, guys, some of those toys are not as spooky as I thought they would be. Let me know in the comments down below what toy do you think was the most scary. I think the elf on the shelf is pretty creepy, and I definitely should cover the tea on that one in some more videos. But guys, that's going to be it for today's Scary Toys Cop Moving on Camera. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to smash a like. It's been Lizzie. I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.